In part two of this problem, we're asked to find the probability that the height of a randomly selected participant in this study is between 66 and 72 inches. We will again use three methods to do this problem. The first method will involve the use of the shade normal function. We'll use the z-score formula to find the z-scores for 66 and 72 inches. Doing so, the z-scores are negative 1.2 and 0.8 respectively. We will adopt the convention that z-scores will be rounded to two decimal places and the area or probability rounded to four decimal places unless otherwise specified. Now going to the shade normal function, which is gotten by going to the yellow second key, the distribution button, then right arrow to the draw menu and select enter to select the shade normal function. The input in the shade normal function should always be that the smaller of the two numbers goes first and the larger goes second. So that the input is going to be negative 1.2, then a comma, and then 0.8. When we hit the enter key, the graph of the distribution is drawn. We see the shaded area corresponding to the probability and the area, which is our probability, is given to six decimal places. In this problem, we're asked to find the probability to three significant figures. So for this problem, the answer will be 0.673. Typically, the area or the probability will be asked as a four place decimal. And had that been the case, our answer would be 0.6731 the answer to four significant figures. After doing any problem on the TI-83 using the graphing feature, it's a good idea to clear this drawing, which can be done by hitting the second draw button and then simply hitting the enter key. Going back to the home screen, second function quit will clear the home screen as well. Using the second method, we go to the second key and then the distribution button and then press the number two to bring up the normal cumulative density function. The input into the normal cumulative density function will be the z-scores that we found previously, negative 1.2 and 0.8. And now when we press the enter key, the answer is the decimal that we get for the probability or area. And again, to three significant figures, this answer will be 0.673. And to four significant figures, the answer would have been 0.6731. The third method of doing this problem, again, involves the normal cumulative density function, which we get to by clicking second, distribution 2, but this time the input will be the raw scores, 66 and 72, which will then be followed by the mean and standard deviation of this normal distribution, which are 69.6 and 3. When we hit enter, we obtain the same result as we did in the first two methods. However, if the z-scores had required any rounding to get to two decimal places, then the answer gotten using this third method could very well be different. That is because this method does not round z-scores in the interim steps. Therefore, we will adopt the convention of rounding z-scores to two decimal places when answering normal distribution questions of this nature.